hey guys welcome back to logician so it's been a while since i did my last video on uh, the gp orientation for orientation support for the iphone sdk and uh, the thing is i was busy with my day job so couldn't get some much some more time for any of the tutorials and yep so today i'm gonna explain you something something that's really advanced and something that's really interesting so i'm going to explain you i'm going to show you how you hack the finder application on the mac os x yep how to reverse engineer the finder application so there's a way we do it so there are some tools on the internet that you can download and try to hack the finder application so let me tell you why we have to know about this so if you check uh, applications like dropbox and uh, if you try to open the application and sync your files and folders so what basically happens is you get you get these overlay icons on your finder folder on your dropbox folder in your finder application so this is this might be this might be the reason that you might have to know how dropbox has achieved it so the the root the groundwork for this is to know how the finder works so let me tell you how so first what you have to do is you just need to go to a just type class hyphen dump on google yep you'll get this link uh, class dump steve so open the link and then you get the latest version here that is class dump hyphen 3.4 dmg so download that and open the dmg file skip yeah and here you get this class term so you also have a source where you can find the xcode project and once once you build the xcode project what basically happens is it builds it builds this class term executable file which is a terminal executable so if you double click on this file it basically runs on the terminal and oh, my xcode is not working so uh, what you can do is you can just drag the class dump file to your desktop and then close the window and then yeah now what you have to know is you have to know where the finder application resides so the way you do it is you can just go and go to finder or you can type on google to know where the finder application resides just go to google and you'll get the and you can type a path here so since i already typed here i can i can show you how you can navigate from your finder so go to system go to libraries and then go to core services if you go to core services you'll get an application here so let me see where it is i'll just find finder okay you'll get this finder so right click on finder show package contents contents mac os finder so what you have to do is just just keep the window like that and then open the class dump application yeah it'll open on terminal and then if you if you check once the application open it would give you some help help options here so this means what what are the functions that class dump tool actually takes up when you can try to execute certain certain functions here so the options are hyphen a shows instance and variable offset so let me let me show you a couple of them here so what if you do is open a new terminal application i'm in a terminal window and then go to the desktop drag your class term yep and then you can just type a few things here so type hyphen h if you can see here hyphen h is generate header files in the current directory or directory specified with hyphen o so hyphen h and then open your finder drag your finder application so it will give the path to the terminal and then again hyphen o hyphen o means that once the headers are generated you have to give a destination directory where the headers will be locked so create a new folder in the desktop and name it as finder headers 
yeah and then go to your terminal and sorry this window oh yeah miss something here okay i i by mistake i executed that particular command so hyphen o and then drag your finder headers folder drag it here and then enter so what class jump does is it will execute the particular function that we um, that we entered and also the finder application that you have provided here so you can give any other applications but here in my case I've given finder and hyphen o means that it would generate the finder headers in the folder that we have specified so if you open this folder you would see that a lot of dot h files have been generated so let the let the command execute completely so it's saying a couple of minutes here I mean seconds here so let's wait I'm running Mac OS Mavericks 10.9 so maybe Apple has changed changed few things in finder and might have added oh yeah it's done here uh, now we can close your terminal and then you can open the folder so here you are so if you check this these are some of the files these are objective c files these are objective c files and these contain some of the interface or header information and these are the files that resides in the finder application and when you perform specific task maybe when you open certain folder certain functions arrange or any other finder tasks these these classes may be invoked and may be and may be executed during certain certain actions by the user so let me show you a couple of them which which you can which you can identify so one would be cell just type cell oh sorry um i don't know why i'm not getting it i have typed cell and i didn't get it um yeah so here you are so t column view so this this class might be responsible for showing you the column view showing you the column in finder so this basically the column view that is shown is in the context menu so the t context menu is the class that is responsible for the right click options that you get when you right click on a particular file or the folder so i right click here i get all these options so this class would be responsible for that and you can you can also perform some more tasks using the class jump tool it's and it's really a great tool you can you can try to experiment so uh, let me show you some more tasks so do the same thing drag your finder application and yeah finder application so here i would do something else rather than hyphen h let me search for something okay so what i do is command hyphen f hyphen f means that find a string in a method name so let me try to find something which is something like draw and i search for that and uh, yeah it is taking some time it may have to run run through all the header files run a regular expression check there and try to get out try to get the method name which has got the draw the draw name in it yeah so here we are with the results so you guys might be annoying because i'm using this word so so i'm trying to avoid it yeah uh draw rect t-shirt scope police has scope slice has draw rect t-shirt slice view has draw rect draw rect draw rect and yep there are there are a lot of files maybe too many methods which have got the name draw it yeah 
so there are a couple of more couple of more things sort classes and categories sort methods by name output directory sort classes generate header files find string method name string in method name only display classes matching regular expression yeah and you can you can even try for other applications like mail if you can find the location of the mail so let me let me try to open this might be in applications folder uh, yeah Let's search for mail show package contents what happened yeah contents uh, mac os mail yeah uh, what you do is create a new folder which says mail headers you can name it anything open delete the path which leads to finder and give mail yep. and change the to h that is headers remove this draw output directory drag the mail headers folder on the terminal enter this is taking a little bit of time that means it has been successful yeah we can see the header files are being generated yep there are a couple of lot this this might so what the basic advantage advantage or the application the application of this application would be that if you have to add a specific a separate individual plugin for your mail application which which does which performs specific task and what you can do is you have to go through these headers and try to find the the requirement that you're looking for and try to override those files and try to so basically what happens is you get the header you get the header name and you get the method that's ca that gets called during certain functions and you can override a method and we call it method swizzling in op in technical terms and then once you swizzle the method with your method you can uh, perform a specific task and you can give, you can customize the task and then you can achieve some really awesome stuffs so this is this would be the this would be the basic basic thing that you might have to know before you could start doing something really good so yeah thank you guys so in further tutorials i would be i would be explaining you some really good stuff where you can hack the finder application try to try to manipulate the files folder structure try to try to give some more some more uh, some more some more what you can customization or interface changes on your final applications the way folders are displayed or maybe the files are displayed and yeah so thank you guys thank you and uh, if you if you like my tutorial and the way and if you have some have some comments or any feedbacks for me you can comment and if you and if you like to know more like to hear from me with more tutorials and you can subscribe you can click on the subscribe button on my channel so yep thanks have a good day peace